I'm at Bad Kissingen at the off-road fair for motorhomes, camper vans. It's great here. This is the place to be. Also, it's a very good time of the year to be here. It's now the 1st of June and it's set in lovely surroundings. This van is from Bellmobile, as you can see. It's on a VW T6. It's been individually built for a particular taste of the client. So don't ask how much it costs because then you'll have to depends what one wants inside we can see what this person wanted by going inside and into the van and what we can see by looking from this angle is the amount of space that it offers now when I compare this to what my T4 looked like it uh, I mean it's, it's as though there's a, a big football pitch down there so let's go into the van now well it's relative the layout's relatively standard in as much as that all vws tend to look somewhat similar but i think they have really used the space and i'm trying to find out how they've actually managed to do that okay well let's go inside we can see first of all it's a high roof so i'll sit down in my favorite chair and I had a high roof on my first van as well. Now, um, if it's built to order, you get what you order. So you might want something different from other people. Some people want the bed in the roof and others may not require it. Now what we can see, what we've got down here is the kitchen is uh, one burner which is in the sink and it, it comes out. I actually filmed this at Dusseldorf from the manufacturer uh, which the can uh, from Italy. There's also a bit of uh, space for uh, the worktop over there. In this case it's been used for a coffee machine. If we look down we can see some cabinets under the sink and a small fridge. At the back we've got the some more storage. Which has got as I put in my van these rollers. Oh sorry there's people's bags. Oh look in there, sorry. <laughs> So I now know where the purses are kept. Let's hope that nothing goes missing because I'll be the first suspect for it. So that's a look down this van. Well, it'll be one bed on the seat I'm sitting on right now. And I think that's really going to be it. Now, when I had a van like this, I particularly looked for a van with a high roof because I feel I, I like to stand up and I like it to be permanently up. Other people might feel differently that they want the roof that they put up for aerodynamic reasons or perhaps it's to get into a car park, garage or shopping centre or whatever. Let's have a walk around the outside. So there we have the outside shower, bit of storage under the seat as more or less standard. But I see we've got a second van here and let's have a look at this one which has been built once more to order but as you possibly can tell from the nose and that there's the name just in case you can't, this one is on a Fiat. And what is interesting uh, about this here is that you can get this motorbike in the back. Now that is certainly a particular order. Let's have a look at how it goes in. Comes in and goes out. I did a film six years ago of a journey to Hungary in which 
my bike was in my Volkswagen and um, I had to take the wheel off. It was, a, it was a push bike, not a one like this, but having to make room for it. But this shows intelligent use of, sp intelligent use of space and uh, the way that space can be doubled up if necessary. But you may be thinking, aha, but a, a Fiat van uh, is possibly a little bit small for a motorbike. It may well be, but you know, it's horses for courses and what people need for individual uh, the requirements. And we've got outside shower over there as well. Let's have a look at a couple more vans they've got here. Now this one here on the Sprinter, this is my favourite layout and uh, we'll have a quick look inside. Right, so the first thing we see, we've got a fridge down there, small one, so that would obviously keep me quite happy. Dometic, same as I've got. Coming inside, we're sitting in my favourite seat, we've got, looking down there, the bed. The right hand side is the wet room. And on the left hand side, I imagine that's where you keep your suit. Well, it could be. That's where you keep your shorts. Suit probably goes down here. It does. And let's have a look in the wet room as well, which is on the other side. I haven't got used to this gimbal. I keep turning the thing the wrong way. Well, it's got a sensible sliding door. And I think it's at the right, the, the correct end. Okay, the vehicle is a bit squashed, but it's not a big vehicle, so therefore the wet room isn't going to be particularly large. There we have the toilet and the shower. Show you the, the thing here. It's held on by that. Yeah, this opens and closes. And kitchen is down here. And very large uh, thing there for the the water, the tap. Now let's have a look at some of the details for this. Okay, well, the construction cost for this was 46,000 euros, and uh, so it's a six meter long van. Its uh, width is only 199, and its height is 285 centimeters. And finally, let's have a look at the other van. So, Mercedes-Benz, Vito. It's, they've called it an Artista, and once more, built to order. In this case, you can see the chairs seem to be somewhat lower than normal. We've got the sink and uh, the kitchen over there, Dometic fridge, and I'll sit down inside. So you can sit in the passenger's chair for once and show you what the tent and the roof looks like. See there's plenty of room here. There's the electrics.
I'm not used to this gimbal at all. You have to bear with me. I might have to do some training with. It. I tried, took the dog out for walks and things like that, but using the gimbal. But uh, inside, it's in the van. It's quite difficult. I tried to practice in my own van a little bit. Obviously, I didn't practice enough. Anyway, so there's the view looking back from the chair here. Something like this cost of 76,000 euros. Come to the back, show you what it looks like here. Here's an outer shower. And here's the manufacturer. Right, lots more vans here at this fantastic fair. So, if you're interested in what I showed you there, have a look at uh, films, other films that I've done.